Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, channel. This is going to be my first devlog for my RPG game. Uh, these devlogs are basically going to be all about my RPG game and how I'm developing and perhaps show you some tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff that I use in my in my game. But before we get into the devlog, if we could smash 100 likes on the video so I know you guys enjoy them and want more, that would, uh, that would be amazing. Before I get into the video, there's a few things I'd like to clarify. For starters, I'm working on this project independently at, at the moment. But I will be interested in building a team for this project um, as I believe the capability of uh, of this project becoming one of the biggest RPGs on uh, the Roblox platform is quite high. Uh, another thing I'd like to mention uh, is you can stay up to date with the progress of this game primarily through my Twitter, my Discord server and these devlogs. All the links are going to be in the description if you're interested. Also if you think you are interested in helping me out with this project you can contact me through those two. Just to clarify as a heads up, I will be looking for very experienced people because this is a passionate project of mine. I want to spend a lot of time on it and I want it to look good. I want it to, you know, um, do great as well. So if you're interested, hit me up, you know, stay tuned with these devlogs and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I suppose I should start with what this island is and what the game actually is. So the game is going to be a fantasy RPG, you can, you know, you're going to have your magic, you're going to have your different races like elves, uh, humans, all that kind of stuff. And the main premise of this island is that it's going to be a tutorial island. This this place is going to educate the player on how the game works and um, what, what they can do within the world, basically, to a very basic standard. But the idea is that a cutscene, when you create your character, a cutscene plays of uh, a shipwreck, basically. And then you kind of wake up around here and then you've kind of introduced this island where you know you can see the rest of the, your ship kind of scattered everywhere and you can interact with an NPC that's going to be here that's going to teach you how to play the game so you're going to be able to fish in little uh, this little pond here you're going to be able to gather like uh, different types of things you can maybe be able to chop down trees going to be able to fight uh, enemies and it's going to teach you the basics of the game. With that in mind not everything is set in stone so obviously I'm going to make numerous adjustments. This is still a work in progress um, as a heads up because you know the waterfall is, doesn't look great and all that kind of stuff and I want to add some more stuff here. But that's the main premise of or the purpose of this, um, this island. I decided to put um, more effort into each individual asset just to make my game stand out more. Um, I'm going for like a stylized art, so it's going to be simple so the object, each asset doesn't take too long to make. But if I zoom into each individual asset, you can see they have their own textures, so it's like the edges are kind of a lighter color. As you can see, it kind of it's consistent across um, all the assets. You can see the cloth. Here is kind of like a stylized uh, theme to it as well. So I'm going to keep this consistent theme throughout the game. I'm going to design most of the assets myself. Um, unless I need specific help with something else and I'm going to hire someone and maybe do touch-ups and make it fit the art style. But yeah, th this isn't like a, an art style often seen in, uh, in games on Roblox because people just usually shove materials on and then call it a day. But you can see even the books here, I've textured them, and then you also have the lanterns here. As you can see, there's this real consistent style um, throughout the game, which, you know, is kind of required so that so no um, assets stand out too much, really. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the purpose of the, uh, the art style, really. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty simple, but at the same time, it's kind of unique to the platform I guess you could say because not many people do that um, but yeah if for people are wondering I use substance painter to texture these assets um, I bought it on steam for roughly 120 pounds I don't know what that is in dollars but um, if you're interested in 3d modeling all that kind of stuff and texturing I definitely recommend it because it is very very good one thing I almost forgot to mention is if you are interested in testing my game whenever you know the testing comes out, join my Discord server because I'm going to keep those guys up to date That's, that are part of my community. Um, you know, I'm probably going to tweet about it, so just follow me, join my Discord server if you want to stay up to date and want to be a tester. There's going to be a very high chance that you become a tester if you're in my Discord server and you follow me on Twitter. 
So just as a heads up, you know, if you're interested, go ahead and follow me and join that. If not, then that's all good. Um, yeah. So the game is going to have a different place called the playground, which is going to be all the testing purposes. So all the assets are here, as you can see. I have all the different assets, um, which keep a consistent art style. Even with the flowers, I've gone ahead and textured these um, with three different color variations and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, each one of them has a texture on it. Um, the trees do as well, as you can see. And I also have uh, mounts and stuff. I'm experimenting at the moment. This is an experimental place. Um, as you can see, I've got the first mount here, the first animal. Um, I'm not sure how to skin mesh yet, which is kind of like how you add a, kind of like a rig onto um, like a one asset, basically. But I'm going to work that out and eventually get them so you can ride them and stuff like that if they fit the uh, if they fit the game enough. I also have a rough outline of what the, um, the weapons are going to look like. These are just very rough. I'm going to change them up completely. Um, as you see, the textures are all messed up and everything on them. But this is kind of like the rough style that I'm going to go for. But they're going to look more like, uh, like this kind of uh, style to them. Because I, I believe I used Photoshop to texture these, which wasn't very uh, efficient, really. And that's kind of like the main premise of this testing area. Obviously, the script that I'm going to hire is probably going to work primarily in this spot. So you can, you know, experiment with different skills and all that kind of stuff that you can do. So the way you're actually going to leave this island is there's going to be kind of like a, a dock here where it's like a, a robo under construction or whatever. And these goblins have kind of taken over this area and you have to kill them and then finish repairing the uh, the robot and then you can leave and then you head into the like the the um, the main world basically so that's gonna be kind of like the the main quest I suppose for this star area it's gonna be very simple just gonna show the player how to do all the uh, the basics of the game and all that kind of stuff but um, I believe that's basically it for kind of the uh, the whole this tutorial area really um, Obviously, I try to go for a, a very aesthetically pleasing look, um, which I hope I got around. I'm kind of, uh, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. I think it looks great. Um, there's obviously some adjustments I'd like to make, but this is pretty much it for the first devlog, really. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and make sure you hit them 100 likes if you want to see a part two to this. Um, the progress isn't going to be too fast because obviously I've got a lot going on. But um, if you're interested in keeping on track with this RPG game, um, I can, I'm using these devlogs as like a motivation purpose for myself and all that kind of stuff. And maybe you guys. So if you're interested, like the video, comment down below. And um, yeah, that's it. Peace.